Welcome back to KXLY4 News. Special event, Superhero Day for programs at Sacred Heart Children's Hospital. Every child treated here has a unique individual story, and we're hearing one for the first time. What happened the day our community was changed forever? Last fall, a gunman opened fire at Freeman High School, killing one student and injuring three others. Those three girls were brought here to Sacred Heart Children's Hospital. Our KXLY4 Melissa, our KXLY4's Melissa Luck spoke to that survival survivor and her family about that very awful day, Melissa. Yeah, Aaron, the Jensen family didn't seek out this attention. They are sharing their story now only to give back and to raise awareness about the staff here at Sacred Heart that helped their daughter and cared for her on that dark day. Imagine. And I remember looking up at the clock and it said 10.08. If everywhere you looked, you were reminded. This doesn't happen to us. But it did. Of the single worst day of your life. I don't remember the exact words, but I think she just said, uh, honey, Gracie's been shot. A mother, a friend, a father, a community, all changed by a single act on a sunny fall day. September 13th, 2017, the day Freeman Strong was born and a young girl nearly died. I was talking with a group of my friends and I heard a pop and uh, I, by the time I turned around, I had been shot and I was laying on the floor screaming for help. We know now that Gracie would survive along with her two friends also shot in that third floor hallway. We also know 14 year old Sam Strahan would not. But in those frantic moments, none of us knew about the chaos unfolding inside Freeman High School. Gracie's mom, Jen, was teaching that morning in the elementary school next door, locked down with her students, not knowing what was real, until a knock on her door and her superintendent on the phone. And he said, um, Jen, we've had a shooting and... Gracie's been shot. I was just worried about like me being okay and still being in the hallway with when he's in the hallway still. The part that's hardest for me is to um, know she was hit and when she was hit it dropped her. So as all the kids were running away, um, to know that she was feeling alone and scared was hard. But Gracie's family would soon find out they weren't alone at all. First responders rushed to the scene, many of them, like Trooper Jeff Sevigny, Freeman parents themselves. He was the first to reach her. He's known her most of her life. And said, how are you? And she literally looked up from the floor with that smile again and said, I'm fine, Jeff, how are you? Trooper Sevigny was first to find out Gracie was still Gracie. But at that moment, her parents were still unsure. Jen jumped in with Gracie and called Eric again along the way. It was about to be the longest drive of his life. And I got a phone call again, it was Jen, and she said, we're in the ambulance, can you meet us at Sacred Heart? So, hung her right on 24th, I remember driving by the cemetery and just, that was hard. She also called Missy Wells, a close friend first, but also a nurse at Sacred Heart. And when we drove by Freeman, it was... <sighs> Shocking. We prayed, we prayed for Gracie, and we prayed for the staff, and we just prayed. Eric beat Missy and the ambulance to the hospital, still holding his breath. I remember walking through the door, and what I recall are just lines of people just waiting for our kids. Our kids, those three girls, all victims of gun violence in a place no one would ever expect now cared for in a place that trains for exactly this. And I walked in and I saw my people. You know, I saw the people that I had gone to war with. And they were fighting for Gracie. The bullet entered Gracie's side, went into her spinal column, broke bones in her back and stuck. Doctors had to find it before it could do any more damage. But when Eric Jensen finally saw his little girl... They wheel her in, and uh, she looks up at me, bright-eyed, big smile. She's like, Dad, I'm going to have so much homework. It was the first thing she said. So, I mean, that's just typical Gracie. 
of putting the rest of us at ease. Gracie was most severely injured of the three girls who survived that shooting. One week at Sacred Heart Children's Hospital, two more at St. Luke's, and months of rehab were still ahead. Outside, Freeman Strong became a rallying cry. Inside, the Jensen's had everything they needed, including things they didn't expect. The hospital cleared out space for Gracie's friends to visit. A nurse washed her hair and painted her fingernails. Ways to feel normal in a situation that most certainly is not. World-class care with heart. So those people in those Peds ICU, all at Children's Hospital, they're amazing. It's cliche to say, and we used to always joke, like, oh, we're just saving lives. But they really do just save lives every day. And every day since that day has been life after, after September 13th. This athlete has pushed through every obstacle in her path, back to school, back to the court, back to Bloomsday even, seven months after the shooting, proving that even though our worst days may break us down, they might even test our faith, but they will not define us. And while some see these signs as a reminder of their very worst day, they remind Gracie of what makes this place special. The Freeman Strong talks about how our community and how the area has come together to support all of us. And for some people, it's like it represents just the shooting and they don't like seeing it, but I do, so. And Gracie is the epitome of that term, Freeman Strong. Her prognosis now is really good, and she is so thankful to the folks here at Sacred Heart Children's Hospital, St. Luke's, and Children's Miracle Network, and the community for getting her through. Gracie is the reason I'm raising money today for Children's Miracle Network. You can donate to my page on KXOI.com. Just search for Wonder Woman. But Nadine, I think we can all agree, Gracie is their Wonder Woman in this oh, story. Oh, I was just going to say that, Melissa. That was one incredible story. So happy to hear that she is doing so well.